Today I'm going to teach you how to install a radiator. Right, let's dress the radiator. So, on the top of the radiator, we have the air vent and the stop end. And they've already got the washer on it, so we don't need to add any PTFE tape. So, never use grips, because they will ruin the chrome. Always use a proper spanner. So, boom. Right, on the other side. That's showing good, it's showing it. Okay? Right, so let's install the lock shield valve onto the radiator. So, what we do with this, we need to use PTFE tape. So make sure you do it. So make sure you put it on the right way. So clockwise, starting from the end like this. So maybe about 10 turns. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then using using the spanner. We then we then do up right so the other side of the radiator we are going to put a thermostatic radiator valve so again we need to use PTFE tape so Okay, so so maybe about ten turns. Like that. But this time we have to use a spanner. So Showing it now. like that. Right. Right, so let's mark out the radiator in readiness to install. So we have something called a datum line, so all measurements are taken from a datum line. Right, so the specification for this exercise is. 500 millimetres to the centre of the radiator from the datum. So what we do is we measure 500 mil, 500 mil, like that. Well, we now measure the middle of the radiator. So in this case, the radiator is 400 mil long. So we measure 200 mil, and draw a mark. Is that showing it? 200 mil in the middle, the middle of the radiator, like that. Right, so next job, the middle of the radiator and the 500 mil mark, we marry up together. Right, so the 500 mark and the middle of the radiator were lined up. What we now do is we can see the bracket holders here and here. We find the middle, we draw a line here and here. So, so these two here. Okay, cut. So using the two marks, we get a spirit level and we then draw two level lines, which is nice and faint of course. One and two. So two level lines. With radiator brackets, there's two sides. Because this radiator is a single panel radiator, we want it so it sticks out the wall more this way. So it would not be good to put the radiator bracket on the wall this way. Okay, so we want it single panel sticking out. If 
it was a double panel, you would have it sticking out this way for a double. What's the with radiators? Because you've got metal brackets touching metal, they're going to rattle. So supplied with them is you normally get some rubbers like this. And so when you put it on the radiator, reduce, reduce the rattling noise. Right. So what we do now is we place the radiator bracket onto the radiator and we take a measurement from the floor to the top of the bracket. And in this case, the measurement is five hundred mil. Five hundred mil. Because it is from the floor to the bracket's five hundred mil, and we want the radiator to be one hundred and fifty mil off the floor, we say 500 mil plus 150 equals 650 mil. That will be where the top of the bracket goes. So let's do it. So let's measure up 650 mil, um, which is there. We then do a level line all the way across. There, nice and clean. Like that. Okay. Or we'll just um, just reinvent them. Like that. Right. So like that. Yep. Is that okay? Yeah. Good. So the next job is you then place the bracket in position. So this one is going to go here. Like this. Okay, so it's all there. Okay. And we then place the other we then place the other bracket in position. And we then mark out oh some plumbers like to mark out this one on the second bracket in case I need to adjust it as well so I can adjust it later. So we've now marked out one, two, three, four, five, six holes. So let's install the brackets. Right, so using a bradle, because it's college, let's put it in the holes. Okay, so one, two, three, four. Okay. We'll also mark out these extra ones in case we need to adjust it. Right, so. Right, so let's screw the brackets to the wall. So, right, so we're using penny washers. first so the bottom bit sits in and you then lift over the top like that. there you go there you go and onto there and then. now it's your turn to have a go at installing a radiator 